Biohacking for me is a mission. I am planning to live to at least 180 years old. I spent $2 million on upgrading my own biology and counting. I'm planning to live long enough to meet my great, great, great grandkids and play with them. I decided I would use the computer hacking techniques that I knew from Silicon Valley to hack myself. I have to take my shirt off to get the best results. That meant getting data. The fad of so-called biohacking, the quest for longevity and wellness. Here we go. Aiming to slow down aging and revolutionize personal fitness using a fusion of AI, medicine, and tech. It's an estimated $17 billion industry forecasted to reach as high as $81 billion by 2031. High-end gym chain Equinox, the latest to jump on the bandwagon, launching a $40,000 longevity annual membership later this year. Increase. And how much like total weight did I push in two minutes? So in two minutes, 2,612 pounds. And that means what? at 156 pounds per second. The popular trend has social media on fire. The biggest difference that I notice is getting the best sleep ever. I'm talking a 93, 94 sleep score. And fans raving that the real-time personalized data optimizes their results. It's just like a game changer in the gym scene. And I don't think people realize that. I don't think people know. Many of these methods are controversial, and none of them are proven to extend lifespan in well-designed clinical studies. But could the biohacking craze have an even more sinister dark side? And I've never heard a single argument of how it's going to help society. I think it ultimately is kind of a narcissistic fantasy. 51-year-old Dave Asprey starts his biohacking routine the moment he steps out of bed. I take about 150 supplements a day. This is what I'm taking this morning. I'll swallow these in one or two swallows. Done. <laughs> Though he says he's monitored by his own medical team, there are concerns about his approach. Most supplements haven't been tested anyhow, but a lot of them haven't been tested in combination. It's really not proven. For me as a scientist, it's like really, really bad ID. Asprey shares what he claims are some of his fitness hacks through his franchise, Upgrade Labs, where customers can come in to get a customized workout and recovery within minutes for a few hundred dollars a month. My breath is what's gonna control my cardiovascular, not how hard I work. Contrary to what you might assume, for more than half his life, Asprey didn't have this lean six pack or 6.4 body fat percentage he now has at 51. When I was 26, I had weighed up to 300 pounds I had arthritis since I was 14 years old in my knees. I was diagnosed of high risk of stroke and heart attack and had chronic fatigue syndrome. At first, I did everything the doctors told me to do to get better, and it didn't work. A self-made Silicon Valley tech millionaire, he turned to what he knew. I decided I would use computer hacking techniques and introduce this idea of hacking yourself to the world of health. Doing something and then doing more of what worked and not doing things that were supposed to work but didn't. Having lost over 100 pounds and turned his debilitating health around, Asprey left tech to become a health guru, creating a string of sometimes controversial biohacking businesses, including the Bulletproof Diet, criticized as a fad diet with little scientific basis. And in 2020, the Federal Trade Commission asked Asprey to stop representing that his supplements could prevent or help cure COVID. To feel free to find what works for you. And what a week from now, he's hosting his 10th biohacking conference. The event showcasing speakers like biohacking poster boy and billionaire Brian Johnson. The theme? Live beyond 180. This is R&D for Upgrade Labs. His entire Austin home is stacked with biohacking gear. A practice to which he dedicates two hours every morning. This is 43 degrees. This is my hyperbaric chamber. All I do for this is I hop in, close the door, and breathe oxygen for about 90 minutes. You wanna see what it's like? It's pretty simple. You just sit here. I can feel the pressure changing, so it's like you're going down from a tall building on an elevator. Asprey's regimen also includes a host of procedures backed by mixed or limited evidence. He's a self-admitted guinea pig in his own experiments. But is it really possible to hack our way to youth? 
we can target this biology of aging, we can even stop and reverse aging in certain ways. So this is all science now. Dr. Nir Barzilai is one of the world's leading researchers in the field of longevity. It's just boxes with samples that are kept at 100 minus 80 degrees. His mission is to make legitimate scientific progress available to everyone and questions whether high-profile biohackers are putting their wealth to good use. What will happen to him can be bad or good, but certainly it cannot be translated to others. The only way to bring it to the masses is to do clinical studies. We want those billionaires to join us. I could design a study that would be really relevant for all of us. Over two years, you can get significant results. He's skeptical about the self-experimentation taken on by influencers like Asprey. Some of those influencers are using variety of, of techniques that haven't been approved or, or validated. Without a solid scientific foundation, Barzilai worries about what lays ahead. We're trying to realize a promise. And if somebody is going to die, it's going to derail us for a long time. So I'm worried about it. it this is a, my, my role as a leader in the field to say, I really want it to be a good, responsible field. Otherwise, people will get hurt. And there is another controversial aspect to extreme longevity. I think we're, we're being selfish. If we have large numbers of people living into their 120, 30, 50, uh, 200, that it really could cause a societal collapse. Bioethicist Paul Root Wolpe worries about the strain of drastically extended lifespans on already taxed resources. We already have a planet that's bulging at the seams with humanity and it's caused all kinds of problems. So uh, I worry about extended lifespans leading to even more and more generations that we're going to have to figure out how to supply with food and with um, jobs. And like almost all of the world's resources, biohacking tools are not likely to be equitably distributed. We're going to begin to get into the biohacking arms race where people are going to have to take those interventions in order to stay competitive. I worry deeply about how that may split our society into biohacking classes with the haves and the have-nots and the enhanced and the unenhanced. You want a strawberry smoothie? Okay, let's do smoothies. But at least some biohacking tricks are no longer just for millionaires. Jamie Salazar is a full-time mom of two young children. On a moderate level, I'm, a, I'm definitely a biohacker in the most accessible way that you, you can get. With limited means to spend on herself, for the last year, she's been creative in hacking a biohacking routine. Pathetically, I, in, historically, I just would go and try and cobble together everything from, you know, whether it's like my friend's amenities in their buildings and I would just get a cold plunge there or I could go to my like doctor's office and sit in the PMF chair. Wanting to put on some muscle and getting back in shape before turning 40, she now goes to a biohacking studio. All right, let's do this. Believing that she can squeeze in a rigorous workout in a mere half hour. Headed to Porto for some biohacking to get some feel good endorphins going. I go three times a week and honestly, I'd go every day if I could. At $1,200 a month, it's still not accessible to everyone yet. Happy Monday. I'm Pamela Gold. I founded Portal. I'm excited. New York City's first biohacking fitness studio. I think after working out like this, most people will want to work out like this for the rest of their life. Gold says this type of studio is the future of our workouts, using algorithms to precisely calibrate time and effort for maximum impact. As with many biohacking claims, definitive scientific backing still isn't there. And while studies show regular exercise is correlated with the longer lifespan, there is no established fitness routine that will make you live to be over 100. And this is where all the magic happens. We're the only place in New York City that has all of this equipment. Jamie gets scanned. I get body percentage fat red and lean mass um, red, and what gets measured gets improved. In these two 20-second sprints, she's getting the metabolic benefits of a 45-minute jog. Let's get you into your recovery so you can rest and recharge. 
I definitely foresee a world where most gyms are like this. As the market gets educated, there's simply no reason to go back to how it has been. And there's no reason to keep overtraining or undertraining and not being able to tell because you don't have the data. But Dr. Barzilai says that in fact, the best biohacks are already scientifically proven and free. All of us can and should biohack our aging in four domains. One is exercising, second is diet, three is sleep, and social connectivity. Those all have biology that was proven to change the rates of aging. And this is something that we have to do and maximize or optimize.